Hi everyone, Felicity here today with my very first layout for the Hip Kit Club design team using the February 2017 kit, a layout made for the 7th of March sketch. Now what I've done here is I've pulled out the papers from the Oasis and Chasing Dreams papers from the kit. I just loved both sides of these papers and they matched my photo that I'm going to use on this page. Now what I've already done here is cut out a heap of um, half inch strips of paper. Now on the sketch you'll see on the right hand side uh, three boxes. I really love that idea and wanted to use those boxes as a bit of a feature on my page. So I end up um, creating like three patchwork style pages or squares pages goodness me squares so what I do is I stick them down um, with just a little bit of, of glue not too much because I end up stitching through these and hand stitching them on and I didn't want to have too much glue for the sewing machine to be able to go through originally I was thinking of keeping um, the squares soft but then I just love that navy blue color and wanted to put that into my page and bring it through. So I've tried to keep the design pretty pretty similar to the sketch because I really liked how it was done. As you can see it does take me a little bit of time to Put down all these strips. And as I said, I do end up hand stitching or blanket stitching around the edge of the square as well. Hand stitching seems to be a little bit of a trend at the moment on a lot of pages. And personally, I love hand stitching. In my younger years, I used to spend a lot of time cross stitching. So it takes me back to those days. It's quite relaxing for me, therapeutic, as well as fussy cutting. <laughs> you could maybe to make life a little bit easier, you probably could cut your strips um, a little bit smaller so it fits the square a little bit easier. They are three inch by three inch squares as well, so Perhaps if you cut your paper down to three inches, you wouldn't have to trim as much off as what I've done here. And here I've just slowed it down a little bit so you can actually see how I put these strips down. I wasn't too worried about um, what colours go with what or what sits beside the bottom wall. There was no real thinking about it. All I knew was that I wanted to put two pieces on the same strip beside each other to make it look wider. And yeah, I could have kept them as one inch strips as well. But I decided that I wanted to add a little bit more texture to the patchwork square and have them as half inch. And if you have any questions at all about how I'm doing it, just let me know. Happy to help. I really love the pop of yellow too that's in that Chasing Dreams paper. I wanted to bring that little pop of yellow through onto my squares as well. Shortly I'll start working on my mixed media background for where these squares will go. There we have it. They look very pretty with the photo. My daughter even has a little pressure heart on her shirt which matches. And there's the finished squares with machine stitching through the middle and the blanket stitching around the edge. Now with the colour kit you get the shimmers aquatones. And these acrotones are 
a silk lining paint that has a very flat finish, which means that these paints actually don't need gesso for the background. They already come with some gesso. So I just pop these paints with a little bit of water straight onto my page. I didn't worry about the gesso background simply because I knew that the page or the liquid I was using was going to be too runny so it wouldn't warp. I was able to keep the paints very thick. And I loved how the different tones of pink here can be seen from the aqua tones by just adding some of the white which is called three sheets to the wings. And the pink is called pinkadelic. But I just love the texture of those aquatones as well. And there we go. I'm just making sure I've got enough of my mixed media poking through. Now I decide to pop down just a little bit of um, adhesive to my squares. Um, I always just put a small amount of adhesive on my papers and embellishments simply because I do tuck in a lot of things into my page. I'm just working here now on the, um, on the layers behind my photo and they are those um, tag and that little card actually comes from the Tasting Drinks pack in the main kit. There's so many bits and pieces in there that can be used as layering pieces, which is what I love. And then more of the flowers as well. And that little word, delight in every moment, is from the sticker sheet. And what I actually do with the sticker sheet is I always back everything onto cardstock and then cut it out simply because I move bits and pieces around before I commit to sticking it down. So if I've got it on cardstock, I can move it around and not worry about it sticking down to my page. So I was just working out where I'm going to put my embellishments and now I start to adhere. I also use some of those leftover strips there on the left hand side as you can see and I end up cutting out a scallop um, from one of the papers as well. That scallop is a template that I have. I don't have a border punch or anything like that. I, I use a lot of hand cutting in my pages for my different elements and textures. I pretty much just chose out colours from the embellishment pack that, that match in with my photo. I did try to put everything on the page as you do when you first get your kit. There's just so many pretty things. So I had to refrain and tell myself it'll be for another page and another page and another page. <laughs> the kits are so full of embellishments and papers. Just for another thing why I love the hip, hip kit. Oh. The kit said chockers with product. So now I'm popping this down. I did have quite a few strips of paper left over, which I've actually saved for hopefully another project. I'm using this kit as well. I don't like to waste too much. I seem to be able to turn it into something, whether it's a tag or a card or layering pieces. I'm just putting a little cluster there down with the tag to flow that through from behind the photo as well. I just love those fringed butterflies as well. I love butterflies, so I could have easily used that whole sheet of butterflies there from the Chasing Dreams all over my page and all those big butterflies too, so I refrained. And I'll use more butterflies on another project. 
reject as well. We'll have the photo there as well to overlap all my squares. You can see their stamp that came with the Project Life Kit had a really cute little flower. So I actually stamped it onto white cardstock and hand cut it out, which will be some cute elements added to the page. It just also brings through that little pop of black from the title as well. And I do apologize for the lighting here. It was starting to storm outside, so the sun kept popping in and out behind the clouds, so I apologize. I love all those. You can see there's a little bow that I popped in there in gold, just below the right on top of my heart. I love bows. You can even see my daughter's got a bow in her hair as well. So I could do a full page of bows of butterflies <laughs> if I wanted to. And that stamp there with the Project Life Kit, it actually has some journaling lines, which I absolutely loved because I can't write straight, so that was my lifesaver. <laughs> so I end up actually backing this onto that green paper as well. I end up hand stitching around the scalloped border and adding a few cross stitches as well around the edge in yellow to make it flow as well. I'm just popping in some fibers here as well. Those little gold hearts, I think they came with the embellishment kit. The gold stars and the little arrows are just so cute. And then I actually come in and add some paint splatters with the Shimmers Pink Stiletto. It came in a past colour kit, which you can find there in the shop. Brings me nearly to being done. And there we have the finished project, which I really, really like. I love how this turned out. It's really pretty. And I love the kit, so I can't wait to create more. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'll leave a link to my blog, to the sketch and to the hip kit club in the comments section.